August 12th, Monday. I want to do an update on this storm and some other updates on the solar storm. And also update or information about the Fatima storm back in 1938. But first, let me start with what's happening in the Atlantic Ocean. Right here, we got a Nesto getting ready to form. Or it looks like it. Not sure. But let me play the loop. See how it's increasing? Okay, that's the last frame. Let me freeze it the last frame. Okay, that's the last frame. Almost a size. Well, you could put Venezuela, the, the entire country of Venezuela in there. And it still has some to spare. So that's what it's looking like right now. Looks like in this one growing too. Now looking at the current sandwich model. Look at the date up top. See how it's growing. These are the storms. In red is the, the severe. Let's put it at the last frame. Okay, right there. Size of Georgia. But this here looks the size. You see how it's starting to draw in water energy from Venezuela into the storm and Nesto. The question is when it will become Hurricane and Nesto. I know there's uh, hundreds of sites out there reporting on the weather. And I'm not a weatherman, but just thought I'd point this out. There's a close-up right there. So it's starting to draw in moisture from the inland inward. It's starting to make that rotation. And it's starting to, starting to form. This one here. Got to keep an eye on this one here. What I'm thinking, this is just my opinion. Oh, please subscribe. Hit me a thumbs up if you like this content. This content is it's kind of heavy because I, what I bring into the mix is I bring the sun activity solar activity to this now I'm gonna leave a link right here to Stefan what's up everyone right now we are in a G4 geomagnetic storm the scale rating goes to five meaning this is a super strong geomagnetic storm that the okay I'll put a link down below check him out he has a lot of information about this storm like this for example Includes by looking at the real time about two hours ago. So extreme magnetic field fluctuations as a result of it. Before we look at the solar window, let's quickly look at our HP30 index. This is similar to the KP index, except it's a 30 minute measure of geomagnetic volatility. We saw a new one just pop up there. And so you can see behind me, we are already in these storm levels 24 hours ago. This was all G1 storming, but then we quickly ramped up to G2, G3, and now with these most recent values, G4. This one right there is an 8.33, and nine is what it takes to get to a G5 storm. So we- G4 storm. So we got a lot of energy coming in from the sun. Now if we go to spaceweather.com, they have the updated information also here, severe. We're in severe hit right now. See auroras from to Texas, Mississippi. Don't be surprised to be Florida. Also, the auroras are red in color all throughout. I've been checking out Twitter X, a lot of the images, and a lot of them are red in color. The thermosphere, hot. In other words, energy. Now, getting a look at our shields, the geospace magnetic sphere. Okay, this is what you see here when you right there when they that's a reconnection event in other words when they connect like that it chart it brings back charges back to the magnetic field this one's the density and here's the one that i keep eye on the pressure this is where let's put it to last well you could let's let it play for a little bit okay this is highly charged okay let's play right keep it right the last frame right there put on pause put on the last frame that's the last frame and look at look at the energy totally around and look how it increased so i'm wondering this is the g4 in progress which is giving energy from the sun to the magnetic in other words the magnetic field is getting hammered it's getting charged this is definitely going to increase the already charged up van allen belt suspicious observer youtube site talked about this 
on one of his videos. Check him out because he has a lot of data about the post shift data and how the magnetic field is falling apart. Data, recent data from the top scientists that is saying that our, our shields are, are getting hit. And it might explain why a lot of people are feeling ringing in the ear, tired, no energy, lack of energy, sleeping. I'm probably I'm just describing myself what I'm feeling today. When these events do occur, you, everybody that uh, has lower aura, let's put it this way. The, let's look at the biological effects. Okay, this is geomagnetic chart. It's a K8. Possible power outage problems. Protective system will mistakenly trip out key assets from the grid. Talks about the spacecraft, other systems, radio, satellites, low frequency auroras have been seen all as low as Alabama. Here's a storm. Uh, biological. They used to have more data. They used to have more, you know, how, how they compared to x-rays. Like going into the x-ray, getting two doses of x-rays, three doses. But they took that down for some reason, you know, so people don't freak out, I guess. Unavoidable radiation hazard to astronauts on the space station. Passengers and, high, and, passengers and crew. And in other words, anybody flying, anybody that's flying, basically, because that's high attitude. Spacecraft may be exposed to radiation risk. No, maybe be exposed. No. When it gets too severe and extreme, you are being affected. Radiation risk. Now, they used to have the, the chart. You know, uh, okay, that's like saying, uh, getting, going to, getting your x-ray, getting two, three doses of x-rays. Something like that. And let's see what else. Let's go to the current. Check out the current. Okay, G4. Okay, that's the radio. G1. Here's the aurora map. Let's take a look. Okay, now it's gone down a little bit. According to them, the sun is back to the C class, back to normal. Check out the dashboard. Check out the power, power situation, electric power, how it affects. It. Okay, seems for some reason this East Coast, uh, maybe the Mac and uh, Northern Canada, East Coast again. Florida's okay. Let's take a look at the check out the dates this is the 9th this is the 10th this is yesterday now yesterday that's when they had the auroras that i'm going to show so they're getting the current right now that's current look at the blast right here okay this focus right here one two here comes a big one three on August 12th UTC time take away five hours that's 1700 hours that's five o'clock this put it this put noon this happened in noon according to this and there's another one behind it a little small one then after that nothing so that's what we have there so we have a K KP7 going to X these are the ones I put likes so I could save them. Give an idea what I'm talking about. Oklahoma, last night, we had red. And also, we have the meteor showers. And I want to touch upon this real quick. This was on the 10th. Comet A3 still got that same appearance. But the video that I put out about possibly breaking up from that expert, the, the renowned expert, and it kept the same appearance, but there was one image taken by Jarrett that showed a weird pattern. We'll talk about that later, but this comet here is different. October 13th, remember that date? So here is some other shots of auroras. And this is a half a moon, 48% full moon. So imagine it wasn't, imagine it if the moon wasn't interfering with these images. Here they don't put the location. Hate when they do that. They don't tell you where they're at. Now we got tremendous w weird storms happening in China. Okay, here. This is north near Dallas, Texas. Twelve hours ago, red red auroras. So if it's seen in Dallas, Texas, that's real low. And remember, this is not the G four, almost G five. This was a smaller one. I think this was a G 
one g2 no that's what i should be eating that looks delicious healthy so we're getting auroras the magnetic fields being hammered skies we got the meteor showers underway if you looked up in the sky last night or early this morning you might have been treated to a spectacular light show the perseid meteor shower hit its peak overnight there it is widely known as the brightest and most easily viewed meteor shower of the year experts say they're about 50 meteors per hour don't worry though if you didn't catch mother nature's dazzling performance last night not too late the perseid meteor shower lasting through september 1st Look september 1st through september 1st but let me get back to the auroras texas meteor showers from last night i mean it just goes on and on more on the meteor showers from japan in the daytime this one's a pretty big one space weather put this out g4 four hours ago more on the meteor showers last night signs in the skies look to the sun the moon and the stars now who's in the right mind be so stupid enough to attack a nuclear power facility because if if this thing would have exploded hopefully they got it contained it would have radiation throughout ukraine that's for damn sure S clouds are going to russia and then if you get a west west wind it'll go all the way into poland and all the romania and france and all these other countries esto es totalmente una locura insanity you don't attack a nuclear facility and they got six reactors last time i checked now the auroras we saw last night are the ones that have been posted last night see right now we're in the daytime so we're not going to see the auroras it's europe so I'm waiting for the images should be coming in a couple pretty soon where it's up to close to a nine. So we, we'll see how far south it went down. A G2 briefly and the magnetic field compression off the chart. And it was just a seven, six, 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 seven sign. Look at that. Now here's a debris from the Persians meteor stream. Let's take a closer look. Look at that. Till September. Some of these pieces are pretty gigantic. What caused this? What caused it was the comet Tuttle. 109P was the, the primary culprit for this uh, programma. A lot of information here. So this is a debris from a comet. Now, just before World War II, 1938, we had a, what, a sky turned red in Europe. It was called the Fatima storm because it basically fulfilled the prophecy of coming World War II. There's a lot of information about this. Okay, and Wikipedia and other sources. Here's more information on that event. What a sky turned red lit up Europe and parts of North America. Parts of North America. Now with that G9, near G9, was it 8.83? Europe right now should be seeing auroras. Let's take a, another look at the map. So right now you got Norway, Sweden, Russia, and as far south, France, Germany, Ukraine. Should be right now. This, this was a, a forecast. So we, they should be, if France or Germany or Spain or any experience or sees auroras they should with especially with uh cl near nine almost a nine we shall see it'll be like a replay of 1939 no 1938 going back to space weather they have a site here real-time aurora g gallery and this is basically it's from last night i mean people submitted it today but they took it last night they say tomorrow when we start seeing if the people from europe submit some images we see right here sweden they submitted it yep this is from last night so when we start seeing august 13 photos which is today right now as i as i speak it's nighttime over there 
and they should be seeing auroras. The question is, how far south would they be able to see it? I see England, Sweden. Keep eye on these auroras because see how far south they go. This is also letting us know our magnetic field strength and also charging up, charging up the atmosphere, all levels, and the water. To me, all this is connected as above as below so now these storms that are forming right here one two three but i see one two and gigantic one over here getting ready to get on on the train track so that's what we have national hurricane has it going this direction right here they keep changing They're, they have it going this way some models have it going missing regardless Let's say if it goes this way, right through here. Look at the size, the size of Venezuela, and it's growing. It's picking up energy. There's a lot of energy from above to tap into. And once that those high clouds and water and the thunderstorms, electric, connect, this could be, uh, it's definitely gonna be a problem, flooding. Flooding warning. Question is, people are asking, would it be a category one before it hits? Regard, if it's not a category one, it's definitely going to be a high scale tropical storm. And look how big it is. So if even if it goes this way, it's still going to cause flooding in this area. If I want to do something about that Fatima statue in, in Ohio where wit I witness, witness stated that, let me put the video, this one right here. I've been studying the Father Malachi's prophecies, but this, this... Of Our Lady of Fatima, she's currently making stops across Northeast Ohio and was on display there that day. The statue travels the world, spreading the message of Our Lady of Fatima. And there's a very long story to the statue as well that you're gonna tell us a little bit about in a moment. The okay, the opened her eyes on August 6th, came alive, so... This is the statue that was commit that was Sister Lucia specifically gave the the details on the construction of this statue. The way she saw the Holy Mother that day. It was October thirteenth, nineteen forty seven, when the statue was completed. It was blessed by the bishops in that area. And then the Blue Army, which has a lot of knowledge about the third secret. The real third secret. They're like the, how you say, guardians of the statue. And uh, they're making a tour across the United States. And the eye opened up. So I'll leave a link to this video here. There's more. Little by little, the third secret is being revealed. Or, you know, a lot of people already know. The real, the real writings, warnings. Fire from the sky. Keep an eye from the sky. There'll be a sky event like we're witnessing right now and something falling from the from the sky if, that it'll wipe out one third the east coast of the united states the mystery of babylon if i don't we don't know we don't know when but uh the turn to the tradition has a video this site right here he has a video on that i don't know when he posted it let's see if i can find it it was a couple of days ago but i remember seeing he talked about it and as soon as i find it i'll post it because i know i saw it he talked about the statue yeah remember there's a the vatican put a ban on all apparitions in other words a, a, a miracle or or apparition of the holy mother it has to go to the vatican in other words just like censorship you're not going to know about it they'll keep it callaito. we're living in that time and I know they're messing with their subscription. So the information in this closing ceremony, these these in France, check this guy out. It all the devil is absolutely in the details, folks. 2024 Olympics has finally come to a close. And I say finally with actually some sense of relief, even though I love watching the sporting part of it. Okay, I'll leave a link to him too. He he puts out some tremendous great video. It's not easy what he does. It takes a lot of work and effort and time and equipment, and softwares to do what he does. But he's, he's a five-star, five-star-er in my book. 
Oh, most of all of this. Everybody that put up to me, me, to me, they're all five stars. Anybody that I put out is a five star. It's just a shame we don't have free speech. Is that a correction? I made a, I made a, a, a slight error in the last video I did. I talked about the exorcist, but I forgot to mention these are recent, recent exorcism that the demons they all have in common. Catholic priest, this pastor, this church. What they all have in common is this is recent and they don't talk to each other. They're all different. One thing they all have in common, the demons are pissed because they say their time is short. Their time of having fun and jodiendo la gente, manipulating uh, from A through Z, doing all wickedness. They're angry about that their time is near. This is the spiritual realm. And they see things more clear than we do. So there we have it. The storms got energy from above. Don't be surprised that it intensifies. And also to the, the radiation having an effect on our body, our DNA. Praying, uh, like for example, what gave me strength was today after I was kind of like, I was like, I felt like I was a, a, in a fight. You know, uh, a boxing match. I was so damn knocked out. I took the water. I pray over it, drank it, and took some vitamins. And now that's why I'm making this video. Gave me enough strength, and the spirit energized it. So remember, your body is mostly water. And if we're getting doses, high doses of radiation, which we are, and you're not gonna know about it because our shields are down. Not they're down in certain spots, and I don't become repetitive because. I have new people coming on board and I thank you for coming on board. And um, you see that I'm heavily C in Seattle B. I grow. If I don't, I don't. I'm just informing one because I know there are people that have a, a higher audience a um, hundred times bigger than me, thousand times bigger than me, 10,000 times big. I know they come and listen to the, the old man, you know, in, a, in, in his nursing home, his little box because the old man might have some information that might help them and they could reword it and reshape it and redo it and then inform and it will bless them. They will be blessed and they are being blessed and they know it. So they know the old man is uh, locked up and I've been doing this now. What My anniversary was August 3rd on YouTube 2011. That makes it 13 years. I could have been more when YouTube first started. I could have jumped in, but I, I didn't have a I was playing with, uh, at the time, Dreamcast, um, Earthlink. I didn't have the, I mean, the child support was messing me up. Even though I had custody of my son, I still had to pay child support. So I was really living paycheck to paycheck, trying to put food on the table. That's why I didn't join earlier. That's what I have so far. I hope I this information helps. Some of them, there's nuggets here. Nuggets in this area, nuggets in that area, nuggets in that area. And, uh, and I do see the Fatima prophecy fulfilling itself. Remember, uh, the last Pope, 87 years old. And uh, the secrets that was revealed in bits and pieces from this location, that location, this location, that location. Put it all together. Somebody did that. And I'm going to do a video on that. If God permits me to. Talks about the last pope. How the church was in from within. Just like the ego will fall from within. Which is happening right now. Now if. These people win. Maybe this is the revelation. Fulfillment. Will be the fulfillment of. Revelation chapter 17 verse 5. Mystery of Babylon. The, the nation of harlots. Maybe she she is the president right now. We don't know it. What they did to Joe, whatever you think about Joe, I mean, he shouldn't have gone out the way they, they, they took him out. Maybe this is the prophecy right here. Because if you look at her history, how she started, and then you look at the definition of a harlot, and you look at the signs, there's so many prophecies converging from every single direction. The Hopis, Enoch, the Holy Bible, the Quran, the, every single culture, religion speaks about this, this end time, and they're all converging. And, and you got the other side destroying 
trying to pit the two groups to, against each other, all three basically, destroying the statue of a Holy Mother Mary. They know, the true Muslim know how Muhammad felt about the Holy Mother and Jesus. You do not mess with the Holy Mother. If you look at the history of the cube over there in Mecca, which was the first one, if you look at the first one, who was inside there? The statue of the Holy Mother and the statue of Jesus. This was a time of Muhammad, and they're trying to get the, all these groups to fight because they feed hatred and negativity and death and destruction. The, look, think of them like locusts. When, a, when you got a cornfield or, or like a crop, the locusts come. After the locusts pass, what do you have behind? What's left? Destruction. That's how you could tell. Okay, 888-777-333. Uh, one one one. I know I woke up at the number one 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 this morning. Bear father out. Talk to you later.